Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Happy Pepper Shaker. Super adorable. It's kind of tiny. Um, Band-wise, it's about 360 bands total. And besides having the little shaker holes at the top, it has a P4 pepper on the back. Um, I do have a salt shaker to go along with it, which has the S on the back. P.S. Um, but it's... Um, because they are different in how we put these on, they're basically banded the same for the most part. Um, this one actually has an extra row in it compared to this one, but um, they're because they are a little bit different, I do have two separate tutorials for them, so you have to kind of look for both of those, or you could just make them without the S and the P. It's up to you how you want to do that, but that's how I always picture them as having the letters on them, so super adorable. But we're actually going to make the pepper one. Um, also, I'm using the chocolate chip bands from Rainbow Loom. They're kind of, they have either brown, black, or gold on a clear band for the stripe. Um, you don't have to use these. You can use like gray or like a gray and a brown or a gray and a black or, you know, just kind of jumble up the colors. Also, if you don't have the clear bands, you can just make the whole bottom of the shaker look like it's full of the pepper instead of having the divide there. It's kind of up to you. But you don't have to use the same bands that I do. Um, and this is just gray from Rainbow Loom. And even though I, when I film my other tutorial, I use a different gray for the salt. I'm still going to use it in this one, although it was kind of a pain. But I want them to be the same. So, But we'll get started. You'll need eyes. I'm going to use 9mm pony beads. You can still use the 7mm ones if you want. Or you can make wrapped band eye bands. Um, you can use either one or two bands. Two bands will make a bigger eye. But you put them on your hook, wrap them around into a figure eight, then grab all the bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands that are going to be the color of your shaker in that area. Like that. So you have two eyes. We also need to make the cheeks, which is one band, whatever color you want the cheek to be, on the hook, wrapped into a figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands, the color of your shaker like that. Then we also need to have three, I didn't show up very well on this one, but um, three little salt or pepper holes where the stuff comes out. So that's just one band on your hook wrapped into the figure eight, wrapped around again, and then you pull through two bands the color of your top on your shaker. And I have to actually make all three of them. I see. These bands that I'm using for the top, they're an off-brand, they're like Loom Bands brand. They're not cut very nicely, and as I figured out in the last tutorial, they're kind of slippery. So, um, but they work, bands that aren't cut nicely, they still work well for the growing up designs. It's just that they wouldn't be good in show pieces, but like bracelets type things. So you want three for the shaker top, two cheeks, two eyes. Then we need one loom, wrong end towards us. We're going to start in the middle of the loom, so up about seven pins to find the center. Then we're going to work from the cap down. So everything will be double banded unless I say differently, so... From the center pin, we're going to go out to the six pins around in a starburst pattern. They're sticky and stretchy, but I like the silvery color of them. So I like that. On the center pin, you'll take two bands, wrap them around three times, so one, two, and three. Then you go in through your cap band, grab the top two bands wherever they are, pull them up through, and back towards themselves, and then you'll do that for the rest of the bands all the way around the center. And I 
like so. So I'm going to do a row around and you're going to want those wrap bands here. So starting here, we're going to put one on. And the next spot will be two bands. Next spot will be another shaker top pole thing. Then two bands. Then another shaker top hole. Yeah, I said the two bands, but I didn't actually get a hang of myself. It is almost 4 o'clock in the morning, so I think that I'm doing pretty well. Maybe. Maybe not. Next one is two bands. So like that. Flip over the bottom four all the way around. Now we need to increase all the pins. So starting over here on the right, I'm going to grab the top two bands and I can just lift those up and bring them up. But the bottom pin down here, I need to grab all four, bring them down a pin, and then bring back the top two bands. So there's no crossing in between the pins right here. So go to the other side, do the same thing in this top corner. I need to bring all four bands up the pin, then bring the other two back. And then down here on the bottom, I can grab the top two and bring them down a pin. For the middle ones, just grab the top two bands. These are coming from this pin right here where my, by my thumb. So I'm going to bring the bands over to the left side so they kind of curve around. And I'll grab the other two and they'll go to the right. Same thing up here in the top middle. Grab the top two. These bands are on the left side, so they're going to go to the left. And the other two are going to go to the right. Like that. Now we're going to do two rows all the way around with our two bands. This is our first row we're finishing, like that. Then you'll flip over the bottom two bands on all the pins. Like that, push your bands down. Do our second row all the way around. I said they were cut weirdly. <laughs> Like that. That's our second row. So I'll flip the bottom four all the way around. Push your bands down. Now we need to go and reduce all of our pins, or every other pin. So we're going to start down here in the bottom right. I'm going to pick up the top two bands, 
they're coming from the right pin, so they're just going to go to the opposite pin than where they're coming from. Flip this over. And the other two bands that are on the pin, they're going to go to the right. So then we skip up to the next one up here. Coming from above, so they'll go below. The next ones will go above. Up to the next pin. Coming from above, they'll go below. Next ones will go above. Come over to the other side. Got the top two. They're coming from the left. They're going to come over to the right. Other two will come to the left. Next one's down. Those are not the top two. I had the same trouble on the exact same pin in the other tutorial. <laughs> Alright, top two coming from below, so they're going to go above. Other two will go below. And the last one here. Again, not the right two. Coming from below, go above, and the other two will go below. So now we're on six pins, and we're going to do a row all the way around. So there'll be kind of some long stretches, but it's still two bands. Like that. So now on every pin that we flip, there's going to be eight bands. There'll be four from the reducing, and then four from below for their last row. Like so. Push those down. So now what we want to do is whatever color that you're going to have your bottom part of the shaker. So if you're going to do the um, like the chocolate chip bands that I'm using, or you're going to use the like a brown and a black or something like that, this is where you'll want to start doing that when we puff it the cap or use the clear like I'm going to and go down. Clear. So the six pins on here we're going to puff. It's two bands. You go in through the bands that are on the pins, hook your two bands, pull them up through both ends on the hook, pull off the bands that are on the pin, and then what's on your hook goes back onto that same pin. And you'll do that all the way around. That. Pull up my center. So 
So now we have clear bands or whatever bands you're using on six pins. So all we want to do is expand this. And how we're going to do that is starting over here on the bottom right. I'm going to grab the top two bands, lift them off, and bring them down. Go up to the next puffed bands, grab the top two, bring them down. And do that for the last one up here. So we're on six pins on the right side. So go over to the left side, and this time we're going to bring them up. So the top two bands are going to go up a pin on all of the bands, or the pins. So now we're on six pins on the left side. So all we want to do is an alternating a double row around the outside. So we're going to start with two bands down here across the bottom. Next spot is going to be one band doubled. And then it'll be two bands. And then a doubled band. And we just alternate all the way around. So two bands. Double band. Two bands. Double. like that. So now you go around and you flip the bottom two bands on all the pins. Push your bands down. I'm going to do another row all the way around with two bands. like that. Then you'll flip the bottom four all the way around. Push the bands down. So now we're going to start with adding the bands for the P. So whatever color you want that to be. I'm going to take a band, put it on my hook, and wrap it around or double it. Then on the back side, on the middle two pins, we're going to add these bands on. So I'm going to do that by taking my hook, going through the bands that are on the pin, hooking my doubled black band, pulling it up through, putting it over the top of the pin, and then I'll pull my black band down, and then over the top. So it's kind of like putting on the smaller smile. And we'll do the same thing on the other pin in the middle. So there are two technically, technically two middle pins. 
go through, hook, pull them up through, over the top of the pin, pull it down, and then pull it over the top. And then we also need to add on some bands that are going to start coming down the sides. And so we're going to have one on the second pin up here. Take one band, wrap it around one time into a cap band, and then the other one will go on the same pin as our first or second, depending on how you look at it, black band. So wrap that band around the cap band like that. So now, starting down here at the bottom, we'll do two bands, and then when we get to right here, when we put the bands on, we'll stop. there. Then you'll pull that black band over the top into the middle of the bands. Then we'll put on the next two spots. And then once again, grab that black band and pull it up over into the middle. And then our last two bands. So like that. So you flip over the bottom four all the way around. Push your bands down. Next up is going to be our eye row. So you want your eyes. And then before we put this row on, we're going to go and grab those black bands we put in the center last time. And you're going to bring them and put them back over that pin that they were on. Like that. So we'll do two bands here across the bottom two bands here. Next spot is going to be an eye. Uh, no. Why are you being so difficult? There. So I next spot will be two bands and then the other I. Nailed that one. So we'll go around and then we'll stop when we get to here with by the first black band. Flip over the black band into the center again. Put on our next two spots. Flip over our black band again. And then our last spot. Like that. Then flip over the bottom four all the way around. Next. 
two. Next row is going to be our cheek row, and yet once again we are going to grab the bands that are in the center, pull them back over the top of those same pins first. So you want your cheeks. Again, be two bands starting at the bottom. And when you get to where the eyes are, the cheeks will go right below. Then two bands. Then the cheek in the other spot. And come around and stop to flip over that black band. Flip over the black band, and then last spot. Like that. Then flip over the bottom four all the way around. down. So now we need to put on some more cap bands on the back side and then our mouth band. So we start on the back side here. We just need to add the cap bands to the pins like we did before. So doubled band. And I'll go in through one of the middle pins. Grab the band. Pull it up through. Over the top of the pin. Pull it down, flip it over. Same thing on the other middle pin in the back. Through, pull it up through, over the top of the pin, pull it down, and over the top. Then on the front for the mouth, it's going to go on these two pins, but it's only one band. So I'm going to take it and double it. And then on the left pin, I'm going to pull it up like I did on the back side. Pull it up through, up over the top of the pin, pull it down. Then I'm going to take my hook and go through the right side. Come around, grab that mouth band, pull it up through, over the top of the pin, pull it down, and then up over the top. That's what we should have now. So we have one more black band to add, which goes right here at the bottom of the P. So again, this pin right here, we're going to add one band as a cap band. And we're going to do a row all the way around, stopping when we get to that black band to flip it over into the center. Flip over that band. Don't get all stuck in everything else. Waha. And just finish out this row.
like that. Flip over the bottom four all the way around. Like so. So now we need to pull, or at least I need to pull up my center here because it's getting congested. Just make sure you don't pull them off the pins. That would be bad. I probably should have done this a row or two ago. So like so. So now what we need to do is we're going to transition into the pepper color. So if you are using a solid color all the way down, you can just do a row here, but you will have to pull this band over to do that, like we did previously. Um, otherwise, you just want to puff with whatever color you're using for your pepper. So if you're using like a brown and a black or a brown and a gray or something like that, then you'll just use those. I'm going to use, like I said, these chocolatey chip bands. I always want to puff all these, so I'm going to go in through the bands, just like before, pull up two bands that are the color of my pepper, up through on the hook, pull off the bands that are on the pin, and then replace them with what's on my hook. And just do that all the way around. I guess if you're using a solid color too, you could just wait a moment and just continue with us once we get done with the puffing here. Because it'll be the same thing. one. It's like that. We have them all puffed with our pepper color. So what we want to do is take our band that we have hanging there, flip it up over that pin again. Then we're going to do a row all the way around with our pepper color. I don't know why I consider these to be pepper color. I think it's just the difference in the flakes. Because pepper isn't usually a straight color. It's usually just black and brown and sometimes white and gray. So then you stop here again, flip over that band. Finish the row. I'm 
Then you want to flip over the bottom four all the way around. Which are just the puffing bands. That. Push your bands down. And you want to move that black band over the top of the pin one last time. Then we do the same thing row around, stopping to put the black band on. And then finish the rest of the row. And flip your bottom four. Push your bands down. I'm going to do one more row all the way around just normally. Two bands. We're almost done though, so. That's good news. So roll all the way around, flip the bottom four. Your bands down, tuck in the ends. Now we are going to reduce everything all the way around. So starting down here in the bottom right, I'm going to grab the top two bands. They're coming from the pin above, so they're going to come over to the pin to the left. Other ones will go up. Then we're just going to reduce all the way around every other pin. So they're coming from above, they'll go below other ones will go above. So it's just wherever they're coming from, you want to take them to the opposite direction. Come around to the other side. These are coming from the left, so they're going to go to the right. Other ones will come to the left. Next ones. It's just like before. Coming from below, go above. So go below. Coming from below, go above. Other ones will go below. So again, we're on six pins. We're gonna do a row all the way around. Two bands. Long stretches.
like that. So then every pin will have eight bands to flip over, four from the reducing and four from the row before, leaving you with four on the pin. I usually try and flip over the reducing bands first, just kind of, otherwise there's a lot to flip over. the extra ones. Pull it up carefully. Push all your bands down. Then we could take this off the loom. So I'm going to go in through this farthest away one with my hook and then go all the way around being careful with the last one because that one will kind of want to pop off. Once they're all on my hook, take two bands, pull it through everything on there. Both ends back on the hook, make a slip knot, hide my tail. I want to give it a little stretch to flatten out the bottom. And then with the top, yours will not be, uh, depending on what bands you use, I don't think any of you will come, end up coming up with the same bands that I used for this exact tutorial, but um, it won't be this kind of misshapen at the top. But I need to pull mine out and stretch it out. Yours should look much better more like that when it gets off. But just kind of adjust anything that you need to. You can kind of leave this little, the top here, and kind of leave it a little bit peaked so it's kind of a bigger top or it's kind of flattened out. It's really up to you how you want it to look. Look at this eyeball. Go back home in your eye. Just a smile. Look at that smile. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it, it's my new favorite, I guess. So, these are the Happy Pepper Shakers. Shake, shake, shake. Um, so like I said, there's also the Salt Shaker, just a little bit different. Extra. This one has an extra row and different lettering on the back, of course, but um, I hope that you think they're adorable. I rather like them myself, so there's my other little Salt Shaker. But if you make any of these, definitely share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. And then, of course, it would be fabulous if you would subscribe to my channel so you know when I'm coming out with new things. I hope you think these are adorable because I just love them. But thank you guys very much for watching. I will definitely have more things for you soon. So happy looming.